Hey girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. And today I'm filming from my mom's gazebo. Fido. This is Fido, my mom's dog. And my dog Shanghai is back there somewhere. Enjoying the There he is, look at my boy. Anyway, they're enjoying the outdoors. I'm enjoying the outdoors. Sorry my lighting keeps going in and out. My computer does not know what to do with this lighting. Good enough though. I'm doing a bit of a haul today. Uh, before we get started with the haul, uh, I just wanted to talk about my lip color for a second because I really like this lip color. And it is ELF Lip Stain ELF Eyes Lip Face. And it doesn't have a color name. It's just like this really nice red color from ELF. And they're an all vegan company, which is really great. Uh, but today I have a small haul from Walmart, actually. And it is for this new, well, I don't know how new it is, but um, I think I, it's new to me, brand called uh, Flower. Uh, yeah, Flower by Drew Barrymore. So this is some stuff that I got, and I'll just kind of go through it and swatch things as well. The first thing I got was this eyeshadow brush. It's a very big, fluffy end. I've never had an eyeshadow brush this big and fluffy before, and it's completely man-made fibers. Um, according to the, to the website, uh, this is a completely vegan company um like they have a very strict um policy against testing on animals and um but some of it might be made in a facility that also uses carmine so that's why some other items say may contain carmine because it's made in a similar facility there are bugs everywhere oh well it's the outdoor what do you expect Okay, this is like the impossible box. It's a lot of packaging and I really hope it doesn't blow away because as you can probably tell it's a little windy out. My hair is getting a little crazy. But I'll try and contain my waist so that I can put it in a proper receptacle because we got a field across the way that's like, uh, I think it's gonna be potatoes this year. Yeah, it looks more like potatoes, so got this brush it's got this really nice kind of like really nice look to it I love the color scheme the black and gold is really gorgeous it's got a very thin handle it's a very light brush oh my gosh this bristle is soft it's all fucking is that a leaf or a bug that was a leaf okay leaf blowing <laughs> sorry or I really sorry I'm gonna have to like lean in because it seems to be the best way that my camera can like catch me because it's like looking for my face but we'll stay this close but yeah this gorgeous brush and it's all man-made as I said doesn't seem to be any fallout br bristles it's fairly nice I think this was an eight dollar brush they're made in the states so they're uh, I mean I'm in Canada so it's not local local but this is fairly local I mean for being made in the states right because I'm, I'm in a border town as well so they <laughs> might as well be local all right and this is the E01, according to this, and, a gore, and um, I just wanted to let you know again, I got all these things from Walmart and in my hometown, which is a very small town, so they probably have it. They actually put it in place of the physician's formula, so that's an interesting thing. So yeah, nice little blush, not blush, uh, eyeshadow brush. Next thing I got was this nice um, nail polish. Oops, where's their label? Uh, you can't really see it. Uh, it's very light. You can kind of see it there. Um, this one is called I Lavendore You. Mm, it's like I adore you, but it's like lavender. Sorry, there's a lot of flies just like boof everywhere. So I just thought this was a really cute color. I might get uh, my mom to help me get it on my toes tonight because I'm really bad at painting my toes for some reason. Next, I think this thing is really cool. I think this is the thing I'm most excited about. I needed a new vegan mascara because the mascara I'm wearing right now is not vegan. It's hand-me-down for my mom, but it's starting to get really old and kind of dry, and I just don't like it. I mean, it looks... It, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just... I just... Mm. This is supposedly a three-in-one mascara where you twist this end, and it changes the way that the end is like. It can be, like, really twisted, slightly twisted, or, or just plain. And the plain is lengthening. The slightly twisted is curling, and, like, the really twisted is volumizing. So we'll just open that up and see what it's like. Ooh, again, it's got that gorgeous gold packaging. I really love their packaging, actually. This, like, this 
look how beautiful it is. This is called the Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. So let's open this up, see what it's like. All right. So it's got like one of those really long like wands here. And if we can see what happens when we twist. Oh, do you see it twisting? Uh, this is so cool. Blah. So super twisted. Can you see that? Slightly twisted and straight. Look at that. That's yeah, let's do it where you can kind of see it more. Look at that! Isn't that so cool? Ah, this is awesome! I'm really excited to try this. Mm. <laughs> it seems to be covering some of my arm hair quite well. Ooh, volumized, long uh, length and arm hair. How beautiful! Don't we just love that? Ooh, there's a flying! There's a flying bug! Oh, it's flying. Okay. You're fine, Emily. You're fine. There's no hornet. Yep. So, we'll be fine. Bees. I don't mind bees. Especially the floofy bees. They're really cute and they'll leave you alone. So, don't hurt the bees. Bees are important for your food. Uh, okay. And now I've got an eyeshadow quad, which I'm actually quite excited to try if I can get away from me. So, I'm quite excited to try this eyeshadow quad. If I can get it open. Ah. There. And this is really cute packaging. It's not a perfect square. It's kind of like a little flower. Get it? Flora. Or flower. And then they've got this like, it's got their label on a little opening and it's the same gold around the outside. So they're kind of consistent with their packaging. Here's what the quad looks like. This quad is called... Um, Secret Garden. I do really like that. It's really cute. So, let's get some testing going on, shall we? And it comes with a little double-headed sponge, which I'm not a big fan of, but I'm going to use these to swatch it just now because I don't really want to clean that brush. So, we'll start with this one right here, which is kind of a, a tealy, blue-green kind of color. It's hard to actually kind of hard to describe this one, so let's kind of get some of that on here. I hate sponges because you can't get it into the quad very well. Ooh, it comes out like a smoky dark green, kind of brownish dark, where, here we go, center, focus, sorry, focus, okay, like that. It's kind of a greeny color. I feel like it'd be really nice and intense, more greeny blue if you use an eyeshadow primer. So we'll see. And next I'll go for this one underneath of it, which is kind of like a, uh, it's like a neutral purpley pink color. It's very interesting. Oh, and it's got some shimmer. The first one's matte. The second one is shimmer. Focus on me. So you see it right here. It's not very dark, but I like it a lot, actually. And then we'll go for this green color down here. It is just very beautiful, kind of green, stemmy kind of color. And it's like a slightly sheer metallic, it seems. You can get it onto my hand. Focus. So we see it here. Focus right there. So that's kind of nice. And then finally, the extreme neutral. I don't know what to call this because nude is such a like almost racist thing to say because like it's not nude for everyone. I mean, it's nude for me because I'm white as all get out. I mean, I'm like Irish Nordic descent. So it's like a pinky beige, like very, 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 very light. So it's like Irish pink, <laughs> if that's something I can say. Oh, and you like, you can't even see it. Like you see right here, it's like this a little bit pinker than like my blue vein. <laughs> so it's not a very poppy color, but it'd be great for brow bones to kind of highlight that area. So I think it'd be really nice for that. But yes, so that was the Quad Secret Garden. If I can get this back in. 
Oh, and it's it's a magnetic. It's not actually a clip. It just boom. <laughs> so that's really cool. So this has been a little uh, haul from Flower with the brush, the quad, the mascara, and the nail polish. Um, sometime I'll probably let you know how they're going. Uh, I might do some makeup tutorials with them because I'd like to get to know them. And I'm, I think I kind of want to learn how to do makeup tutorials. Um, do, makeup I did today is actually like like literally a three step. Like I mean it looks like I'm barely wearing anything because I am wearing barely anything. But it's like a three step travel makeup so you can at least look somewhat nice. And the focus is the is the bold lip. So, uh, so you can like look fairly nice while traveling. And I think this is a really important thing to have for some people who don't want to look totally like dead while they're traveling. So uh, if you'd like to see that, uh, leave a comment down below. If you like when I do these like little hauls of like vegan things so that you can kind of see some new products or see some swatches of some products. Uh, I'm unsure how these colors will go well with blue eyes, but I fell in love with this quad when I saw it in the store and I just had to have it. So we'll see how this works. I'm used to wearing like golds and browns and other, and then gold and browns as my base colors because those go really well with blue eyes. And then like popping bright, bold colors. So these are kind of different. Anyway, the black flies are starting to get really bad. So I'm going to pack my shit up and I'm going to go inside. Thank you so much for watching. You have a nice day.